hey welcome to my channel motion with nas hope you're doing good and in this video we are going to be doing this cool text animation and this will make it the final text animation for this series and i really hope you've been learning a lot if you do please kindly let me know right so if you're new to my channel please do subscribe i really appreciate it and if you enjoy the video make sure you do like it all right let's get to it now all right so i've already created a composition and the composition is 1080 by 1080 you can use the social media square presets here and it's about 10 seconds long and i use 13 frames per second for it so i'll just go ahead and create my text i'll go to my text to i'll type the first word which is make sure this is on full and make sure the paragraph is at the center and then i'll align everything to the center and i'll change the color to white okay and i'll change the font to so dream pro light okay and i'll make sure it's capitalized and i don't need this fox board here at least for now so let me select it make sure it's aligned you can work with this like you see in the example you can see that we have about four letter words that we're going to create but we're just going to focus on this first basically we apply the animation to this and all we do is just duplicate and then that'll be it so the very first thing i like to do is to open up my text and go to the animate and now hard tracking and when you're doing this make sure your paragraph is at the center so that the tracking can happen from the center and i will go to the tracking amount i'll go to the 14th frame here now set this and i'll take this back to the zero frame and i'll set this to minus 30. so what i will do is just squish them together right so because tracking normally just you know increase the spacing between the uh, letters so that's what it does so let me just change this back to minus 30 and we have this for this i'm going to use the old keyframe for it because if i play it now it's actually going to just spread but i don't want it to spread this way i want it to just jump straight to the next value so i'm going to highlight then i can right click and click on toggle old keyframe so what will happen is if i play this now it's just jump right so just jump straight to the next value which is what i really want to do so i would leave that as this the next thing i'd like to do is to add position i think i'll put my time indicator here first let me rename this to tracking so i'll go to animate and i add position so let me rename this to position okay and i'll change the value to the value of the position here so about let's say 71 that's on the y axis so it's coming down so if i open up the range selector if i click and drag my start can you see what's going on here it's trying to animate each individual letters so i'll put it on 100 at this point and i set the keyframe here and i will just try and zoom out a little bit then go a little bit above let's say just one frame after with the one second and i'll set this to zero and if i just preview this just the way it is can you see what's going on so i think basically i'm supposed to do it the other way around there's a simple shortcut for that i will light these two keyframes right click and i can do time reversal keyframe and to just swap it so by the time i click and drag now can you see it's going up uh but then it's actually animating each letters which i don't really want i want to animate word uh so i'm going to go to the base on open up the advanced open up the base on and i'm going to click on the words so that the words we animate at the same time and you see the reason why i'm not using transform property position for this and i will show you because actually there's no difference but let me click this and click on you to see all the keyframe and i'm going to highlight this and i'm going to keyframe assistant easy is go to the graph editor and this is the type of ease i'll apply to this right then just drag this so we have this tipping down if i play this now okay quite interesting so so now i'll go to the position itself so i'll press p for position and i'm gonna add a subtle position animation to this so i'll go to about one second mark at this point let me press u to see my animation so where this is the last keyframe is i'll set my position so i'll do shift p so 
so i can have my position right i'll click this and then i'll take this back from the beginning and i'll just drag this even further down so what i really need to do is to alight this and do easy ease on this if i trim my work here right here and i play this from the beginning this is what we have so we have this subtle additional movement before that takes off which is looking quite interesting but now what i need to do i want it to animate out so if animate in the text in a way so let us make it animate out so i'll try and zoom out a little bit and i'll go to about yeah let's see right here so let me make sure that is covered right here and i'll set position animation here then i'll go forward to about 2 minutes 15 seconds right here and I will just drag this up so it's going to animate out. So what I'll do now is I'll click this, go to my graph editor, I light this, then this crash to the end like this, and this crash like this. If I play this now, so we have that animate out thing going on there. So so what I'll do now, I'll go to about two second mark here. Then for our tracking, I'm going to set this here, right? So it will maintain that tracking. But then I am going to move forward 10 frames. So I'm holding on control and shift and my forward arrow key. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the last keyframe here. So it's squished back. That's the whole idea. So if I play this now, let's see what we have. So we are good and our first text is done and I can tell you 80% of the work is done. All we need to do is just have other text duplicate and have other text animated. So that's what I'm going to quickly do. I'm going to create a null to readjust my text. Right. And I'm going to parent it to the null and just drag it up because I really want this to be up somewhere here. So let me activate my rational grid. This will do so i think i'll just drag it down below the first line like this and i'm going to i like the two duplicates so that's what i'll just do until i have the rest of the text so i'm going to fast forward this part So what I've done so far is to you know duplicate the text, use null so that I don't have to affect the position animation. So I use null parent to the to the text and then adjust accordingly until I have this and I just change the weight of the text too as well so that to make it more appealing to look. I have this now and if I play this, this is what I have. But you know where the magic is, where we offset it. But then before I do that, I'd like to also quickly change the tracking. Yes, I'd like to quickly change the tracking of the remaining three at the beginning. So let me quickly do that. So just to have it you know, squished some more. Let me quickly do that. So what I've done is to, you know, like I said, I'm going to squeeze it in and of course I copied the first keyframes and then I pasted it on the animate out text so, so that it will be the same. So that's what I've done. So what I did was to alight all these three texts, search for what I wanted and brought that out. So that's another way of, you know, quickly getting to what part you want to get to in the layers. So we have this. So the next thing I want to do is to just offset it so we can have something more fun. So I'm going to offset it in four frames. So select this. So I've done the offset, it's just for me to play it now. So if I play this, we have this, all right. Okay, which is looking very interesting. So what I need to do is just take all of this. I, I wouldn't want it to start from that. Let's just start a few frames backward. Let's start from the, let's say fourth frame. Let's play this now again. All I needed to do was just drag this out, basically. 
cut them off at the last keyframe so i'm going to just target the last keyframe here i'll cut this off cut this off here last keyframe cut this off here then the last keyframe here cut it off so if i drag this back So if I play this now, so I'm not really satisfied with the beginning animation, right? So I, I need to do some tweaking. So let me just hide all of this first, right? And I'll focus on this press position. So I think this, I'll go back to this. Let me check the easing. I think I need to just drag this back a little bit more. All right, I think this will do. And I'm just gonna do the same thing for the rest. So for this, uh, what I would do, I have a very cool script called Easy Copy. So I'll just, so Easy Copy, I'll click on that. And what I would do, it can easily help you replicate Ease, right? And then just paste it. So I'm just gonna like this, copy, and then select the many three layers here let me just do p for position then align this three and then just paste it so with that i'm sure that i have my consistent animation so let's try this again okay let me activate the rest Okay, I think I'm good with this. So all I need to do now, let me set to where everything stands still. All I need to do now is to, let me alight everything, drag, let's take it to the beginning. And I will alight this, can compose it, I'll name it text, and I'll click OK. And then I can now adjust this to start from, let's say, a few frames later. All right, let's look at this to do. And I would go in into this because it seems pretty big for this. I'm going to click on this here and I'm just going to draw something like this. And I'm just going to go to the composition, crop, comp to region of interest. And with this, I can have this in a perfect you know, shape like this. I'll go back to my main and what we need to do to have that grippy feel so first of all i can even increase the scale let's make it bigger all right so for me to have that drippy feel all we need to do is simple our heart and the first call spherify so i'm going to bring out my so with this let me take it to where yeah this frame so if i increase the radius of this can you see what it's doing it's trying to make like make it ball out of it or something right so what i'll do i'll come here and put in the value of 204 that's what that will look like i think that is fine and then you can also see that we have center sphere so what this would do is we can actually choose what area we want it to you know spherify from or to make it sphere from which is Really, really cool. So what I need to do is to drag it up first, something like this. Take this to the beginning of the layer and I'll set this. Then in one second mark, I can just drag this down. So I can zoom out and then try and drag it down like this. But make sure it close very close to the center so you can have that effect. And if I press U, this is what I have here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing towards the end. So at this point, I'll just copy and paste this and then I'll click on O, which is the end of the layer, then copy and paste that. And maybe I need to drag this back a little bit. Let's do the two second mark. And if I like this, I'll just do simple easy ease for this. And if I play this now, so let me make sure I'm zoomed in. Alright, so let me take the back and play. right so that's making it look more interesting i really hope you've learned a lot from this if you do please let me know like the video if you do like it you understand what i mean and if you're new to my channel please try and subscribe right all right see you guys later